Hey guys, amigos, Raphael here. So here we have a Mike Hill bust. Tenemos una escultura de Mike Hill. Uh, my client uh, worked on it because um, it was, I guess, you know, pretty messed up, had some cracks on it, tenía ciertas cosas quebradas y el cliente hasta eso uh, trabajó en él. He did a very good job on it. So he just sent it to me for me to paint it and add some glass eyes. Me lo mandó para pintarlo y ponerle ojos este, de vidrio. So let's get this guy going. Vamos a empezar con esto. All right, what we're going to do is drill all these eyeballs out. Vamos a sacar estos ojos. Um, this one actually looks bigger than this one, so I'm hoping the glass eyes will eventually work out. Este se ve un poco más grande que este, así que ojalá los ojos de, que tengo uh, resulten. All right, so the drum will move. Ha <laughs> ha. Se me movió el ramo, so I messed up right here, but we'll just fix that with putty. So now we're going to, through the inside to make it as thin as possible so the eye will be as close to the eyelid. Vamos a abrir por dentro a escarbarle más, lo más delgado que se pueda para que el ojo esté, esté lo más cerca que se pueda en el párpado. All right, as you can see, como pueden ver, um, You know, and I, as I said, you need to go as thin as possible. Uh, deben de hacerlos lo más cerca que se pueda. That's why I went through here, but that's okay, because once you put the eye in there, you know, you'll cover that up. Uh, no, uh, lo más delgado que puedan, uh, a pesar de que aquí se me fregó aquí, no hay problema. And as you can see, this eye is longer than this one. Este está más largo que el otro. So that's a little problem there, but you really can't fix that because, you know, I can't sculpt to make this guy look better than that one or the other way around. So that's how it is. Uh, es más largo y pues yo no puedo hacerlo, you know, que, que sea igual que este porque pues no soy fregón en eso. So we're going to do the best we can. Vamos a hacer lo mejor que se pueda with what we got. Now I don't know if this is the blue I will be using. I have different blues. No sé si ese es el azul que voy a usar. Tengo varios azules. But see, this one looks pretty good. Yet this one here, you have more opening on the sides. And este tiene más abertura en los lados. So we'll do the best we can once we set everything in place. All right, guys, we're going to add some eyes. Vamos a poner los ojos. I chose this color because they look a little bit more natural. Escoge esta color porque se ven un poco más natural. Okay, what I'm going to do is mix equal amounts. Voy a mezclar partes iguales. Epoxy scope. All right, so um, the problem with this is that, uh, el problema de esto is that there's, even though I went as thin as possible, a pesar de que lo hice lo más cerca que pueda to get these eyes cl as close as possible to the eyelids, they're different. Están diferentes. And there's a lot of gap in here and I can't go any thinner because it would it would not work. No puedo hacerlo más delgado porque se, se arruinaría todo. So it's the best we can do. It's lo mejor que se puede hacer. So we're going to fill in these gaps and do the best we can to make them a little bit better. It might be too thick, but uh, there is no other way. No hay otro modo, aunque lo rellenaré. Se verán un poquito muy, muy grueso aquí, but oh well. All right, guys, so here's Bella Lugosi, ready to be painted. Aquí está, listo para pintarlo. I covered his eyes with uh, uh, silly putty. Uh, cubrí los ojos con esta, ¿cómo se llama? Este boligoma. And I'm actually going to use the um, Tim Gore's Bloodline. Now, over that, I'm just going to mist some titanium white. Voy a ponerle un poquito de blanco. Pero nada más como ah, princesita. Now all this may not show up at the end of the whole thing. Because I'm still going to do a lot more stuff. But let's just to get an idea. Uh, tal vez todo esto uh, va a 
quedar al final lógico diferente, pero nada más para grabar una idea. I'm going to go in with some modeling, but before that, I'm going to seal that. Antes de hacerle todas las venitas, lo voy a sellar. I'm going in with a little bit of blue, the same thing. Un poquito de azul, lo mismo. Aquí hay azul y, y rojo, venitas. You know, little modeling, very subtle blue and light uh, red. And what I'm going to do now, I already sealed that, ya lo sé, yeah, just in case I mess up. And I'm going in with some red watered down color. Ahorita voy a usar color rojo. Este, y saspicarlo. Just spatter all over. Just gonna, whoops. This is the myself, that's too much. And that's why I seal, just in case. Just dab that off. Okay, I really watered it down. Leche más agua, and I just splattered the hell out of it. Vamos a ver qué pasa. Here's some blue. Oops, too much. Okay, now that I have all that, ya que tengo todo esto feo, I'm gonna go in with the first base I did and just go over it to knock it down a bit. Y esprearlo para noquear un poco de esto, que no esté tan notable. I'm just gonna do some brown hair right now, just to get an idea, un poquito de café, nada más para agarrar una idea cómo se está viendo. Okay, so I've done a lot of modeling, uh, blues and reds and some whites. Hice blancos, azules y rojos, así venitas muy suavecitas. I'm going with a little bit of transparent purple, un poquito de morado, transparente, very subtle. Uh, why am I using purple? Porque estoy usando morado. I have no idea. I'm just seeing what I get. I'm going in with some transparent black, uh, transparente negro. All right, so let's get in there with some black to really see what this guy is going to look like. Vamos a usar ya el negro para ver cómo se va a andar viendo. All right, uh, it's getting me a good idea. Vamos a quitarle el putty. Take the putty off and see what happens. All right, so even though I have the little hair thing there. A pesar de que puse los, los pelitos, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of shading just so they don't look too harsh. But no se vean tan... muy picudos ahí. I'm putting false eyelashes. Right now I'm just using them right out of the box that they have a little sticky film on there. Ahorita lo estoy poniendo de sal, o sea, de la caja, no le he puesto todavía pegamento. Esa como vienen ahorita con un poquito de, de pegamento. And we will see how this looks y vamos a ver cómo se ve esto. 
and of course we have to trim them claro tenemos que cortarlas para que se vea más natural trim them so they look more natural Okay, after trimming them, I'm gonna put some crazy glue right under them. Voy a ponerle cola loca abajo. All right, guys, so here he is. Aquí está. All right, guys. Hope you learned something. Till next time. Tapa la próxima.